is a rigid form of connective tissue which forms the endoskeleton of vertebrates bone is a living hard and strong structure it consists of a hard ground substance or matrix and cells in human the matrix consists on inorganic matter that is 65 percent having calcium phosphates and carbonates etc while the organic matter that is 35 percent having proteins and collagen if we look a diagram of the long bone here it consists on epiphysis and diaphysis epiphysis that is proximal epiphysis and that is the distal epiphysis while the central portion is called is diaphysis epiphysis is the expanded or rounded in portion of a long bone it has red bone marrow producing red blood cells or erythrocytes while the diaphysis it is the shaft portion of a long bone that is the shaft portion with cortical tissues it has bone marrow that is the yellow bone marrow and diapose tissues many bones also contains this soft tissue called the bone marrow which can be either rot that, that is present in the epiphysis or yellow that is present in the diaphysis red bone marrow is found in the spongy bone the ends of the long bones they are called proximal and distal epiphysis and they produces red blood cells while the yellow bone marrow there is filled the shape right is present in the diaphysis and this yellow bone marrow consists mostly of fat cells and serves as an energy reserve it can also be converted to red bone marrow and produce red blood cells which when severe blood loss occurs This is the membrane of the bone that is called periosteum and this periosteum have blood vessels, arteries and nerves which provide nourishment to the bone. The outer portion is compact bone while the inner is of spongy bone that is soft in structure if we look at the internal structure of the bone so the internal structure of the bone consists on the haversian system and haversian system there is a central canal that is called haversian canal Haversian canal is surrounded by bony plates that are known as Haversian lamella and between the adjacent lamella there is a space that is called lacuna. Lacuna contains osteocytes and these osteocytes they are the primary bone cells. From the lacuna, 
radiates fine fibers in all directions known as canal lecuni so the haversian canal along with the haversian lamella lacuna and canal leculi it makes the haversian system below the periosteum there is a layer of cells that is known as osteoblast the osteoblast cells are bone forming cells that help to increase the thickness of bone as well as and repairing of broken or damaged bones these are the bone cells their functions and location cells are of four types they are osteogenic cells develop into osteoblast and they are present in the osteoendosteum cellular layer of periosteum second type is osteoblast they are bone forming cells present in the endosteum cellular layer of periosteum and growing portions of the bones third one is osteocytes they maintain the mineral concentration of matrix and they are entrapped in the matrix fourth one is osteoclast they are their function is a bone resorption and they are located in the endosteum cellular layer of periosteum and at the sites of old injured or unneeded bone